I'm burning up, man. Oh, Turn that AC. Oh, he's on air. <laughs> um, what is this? All right, are we ready? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's call this meeting to order. Welcome to the City of West Miami regular City Commission meeting. Today is Wednesday, September 15th. It is 7.33 p.m. And tonight we have uh, Mr. Penna for the invocation, please, sir. Bow our heads. God of wisdom, we seek your help today. Come and let your wisdom fall upon us. O oh Lord, as we gather for this meeting, give us clarity so we can effectively tackle each part of today's agenda. Reveal problem areas and show us the best solutions that will apply. Point our eyes to every positive outcome since our last meeting and let these favorable results and developments encourage every heart in this room. Dear God, help us apply your wisdom as we decide certain matters and make plans. Protect our military personnel, first responders, and our police officers, always. For this we pray in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you for the Pledge of Allegiance, Chief. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, sir. Madam Clerk, roll call. Yes, sir. Uh, item three, roll call. Mayor Rondo Rodriguez. Present. Vice Mayor Eric Diaz Padron. Here. Commissioner Candida Blanca. Yes. Commissioner Juan Blanes. Present. Commissioner Luciano Suarez. Yes. Mayor, you have a quorum. Okay. Thank you. Next item. Item four, presentation of minutes for approval for August 4th, 2021, regular commission mm -hmm. meeting. I need a motion. Motion. I need a second. Second. Call the vote. I roll in favor. Yes. Aye. Yes. Aye. Okay, five zero, presentation of minutes for approval for August 18th, 2021, special commission meeting. I need a motion. Motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Five zero item passes. Item five, public comments. Anyone signed for public comments? No, Madam Mayor. Anyone here would like to speak? It can sign up afterwards. No? Okay. Um, next item. Item six, report of the city manager. Thank you, Madam Mayor, Vice Mayor, members of the city commission. I issued a report this afternoon after participating in a conversation that it was called, it was titled the White House um, Webinar on the American Rescue Plan Act. Mayor, I think it's important if we read this memo into the record so that there's a permanent record of how and what path we're taking and how soon we're taking the path towards the implementation of the projects that we will bring to you at the next commission meeting with a recommendation um, as discussed and as part of our budget presentation uh, that deals with the infrastructure improvements and other categories under and funded by the American Rescue Plan Act. Yes, ma'am. That being you. said, this memorandum shall serve to provide the mayor and city commission with pertinent information, all key to having a successful American Rescue Plan Act. The memorandum will be updated from time to time throughout the process of the projects as approved by the Mayor and City Commission and following the guidelines that are expected to be published and amended guidelines, I should have said, expected to be published by the U.S. Treasury Department. This office has received a signed contract from the Florida Department of Emergency Management. That contract was received yesterday via email. That contract basically allows the city to start creating projects that qualify for use under the American Rescue Project Plan dollars. This morning, and following a conversation that I had from, from the state, I, we, uh, in checking at the bank account, we realized that we had received the 50% share of the funds under the American Rescue Plan Act. We received 
what they call an EFT, which is basically a wire transfer from the state in the amount of $2,195,492. That is the 50% upon execution of the agreement that we've been talking to you about that the city should was expecting for the first year funding. The finance director and I spoke to the bank today about setting up the separate bank account solely for the funds associated with federal allocation for the program. And so this is in the works already. We participated today between 3 and 4 p.m. I believe you may have gotten an email from me advising you all of the call uh, of this call today. It was a White House call received this afternoon intended for cities in the state of Florida who will be or are recipients of these federal monies. The call was informative and provided a better direction on the programmatic use of the funds. And I'd, share, I'd like to share some of the key points that I, we learned today that I, I, I believe those are important. The funds can be deposited in an interest-bearing account and the interest does not have to be returned to the state like it, it because in, with some of the grants, we do have to return the interest and report it. Although banks are not paying a lot of money uh, on the return on the deposits. The funds cannot be used as leverage for other grants or programs, which I thought we could, and I think you heard me make that, uh, um, pose that question to the folks that were hosting the, the webinar, Madam Mayor, yes. I know you were on the call. Yes, I did. Um, any expense as outlined by the U.S. Treasury guidelines will be honored for the time period commence March 3rd, 2021 through December 31st, 2024, at which moment in time all projects must be completed. Premium pay for law enforcement officers is an allowed expense under the eligible projects and that is for the period of time after January 1st, 2020. Infrastructure projects are encouraged by the U.S. Treasury Department, and we will see that again in the updated guidelines. The cost for independent audits are also eligible under the guidelines. The first report due to the state is due October 31st, 2021, and I will be sending a calendar to all those of us who will be, be participating in the programmatic engineering and capital at the capital improvement level. Um, we'll be posting calendars for the due dates for these reports. It is not known if at the end of December 2024, 20, mm -hmm. recapture dollars will be redistributed to government agencies. And I posed that question today on that call, Madam Mayor, as, as you heard. And basically what, what the recapture dollars would do for not only West Miami, but for other cities is agencies that have not spent their money the way they're supposed to be spending and not completed their projects or encumbered those expenses are probably going to be in a position to lose some of the dollars that are being allotted to them. So what I wanted to know is post December 31st, 2024, if there are recapture dollars, are there going to be opportunities for cities that can come back and revisit completion of some of the projects that they've started? We'll know that, I, I think, moving forward. Additional guidelines will be received in the coming week from the U.S. Department of, of Treasury on specific programmatic requirements for the use of the dollars. The city has issued a breakdown together with a budget presentation for the use of the funds and how it relates to the budget. And I, I have had individual conversations with the commission, um, with the commission members and on the projects um, on how we propose to, to use the funds. Uh, in my conversation with Erin at the Florida Department of Emergency Management yesterday, she's the liaison agency um, between the federal government and the cities. I expressed to her that my office would be recommending formally that the mayor and city commission entertain a resolution at the October 6, 2021 city commission meeting, setting forth a list of projects and an estimated amount for each project so that there's a clear understanding of how the dollars will be spent. Erin advised that her office highly encourages the passage 
of the resolution and this memo will be is is also addressing the clerk requesting that she places the item on the agenda uh, for October 6th, the request for the resolution, and we will give the language to Mr. Villalobos on the project so that he can assist with the preparation of the resolution so that we can definitely get started on, on the projects once there is a formal approval by the commission. Hopefully prior to October 6th. Mr. Attorney, your microphone. Hopefully if, uh, before October 6th. Yes, sir. Well, the list of projects. Oh, the list of projects. Uh, yes, of course. That yeah. they're they're part of the budget now, but we have to list them in the resolution. Mm -hmm. So I will give a, a list, a copy of that list, which is in your budget and in the budget presentation that everyone has, and we will uh, revisit our estimated budget numbers in the next couple of days, so that we can identify that. Um, you know, and, and I think it's, it's a good idea to have something concrete so there's no deviation, whether it may be unintentional for wh whatever reason, I think we should have a document that binds us to how we're going to spend the funds. So that, that concludes my presentation on, on this matter today. Thank you, Madam Manager. Any questions for the manager on her report? Okay. Next item. Item 7, report of the city attorney. There's no report by the city attorney. <laughs> item 8, report of the city engineer. I have no report tonight, uh, but if there's any questions on ongoing projects, I can field those. I don't have a question on ongoing projects. I, I have a comment on ongoing projects. Now that we have that money, Frankie, get started on whatever you need to do to get that money in the ground. I'm sure, I'm sure you have a lot of a lot of work, leg work beforehand before we can break ground. So oh, absolutely. Get started on that because like the million we got from the state for phase one, I want to get that this two million in the ground as or whatever portion of it is going in the ground as quickly as possible. Understood. We're working on it. Thank you, sir. Um, about phase one. Mm -hmm. How's that going? Where are we at? Uh, pave, uh, as I guess you've seen in your neighborhood, pavement is complete. Uh, we're still waiting on the certification so we can finalize all the connections and close the project out. Uh, but all major construction is complete. Um, we still haven't done a final punch list. Uh, you know, go through and take a look at all the little details, all the driveway, sidewalks, make make sure everything's been repaired. Um, so we still have pending a final walkthrough and then a final certification of the lines to do all the final uh, service connections. That's been kind of the, the, the last holdup. Would you say phase one was a resounding success for oh, absolutely. you? absolutely. We can yeah. build upon that going to phase sure. two and three. We learned a lot of lessons uh, that will hopefully uh, be taken on to the next phases. So. Excellent. And as far as uh, the residents, any, <coughs> have we heard anything negative from the residents? Or uh, has it been po more positive, more negative? Tell me about what the residents are, are You know, we've had a few complaints, there. as you always do during construction. Um, other than that, you know, it's been it's been pretty straightforward. Um, I think once we you know once we turn on the uh, the spigot uh, per se, once we have all the connections in, I guess we'll 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 see. I'm sure folks will be happy with the uh, the new system. But um, but yeah, aside from the typical you know complaints we get during construction, uh, contractors been uh, done a relatively good job of maintaining uh, the project site. So. Now, will you let us know when that when that day comes that you're ready to turn on the oh, deposit so yes. we all know when well, it's happening? We're hoping within, you know, the next month or so uh, we'll be able to get all the connections done. Um, we're supposed to have the certifications already this week, so we'll see what happens. But um, we're just waiting on the state. Okay. They, have to, they have to certify the lines of the whole <coughs> process. Excellent. I want to make a comment. Yes, sir. Um, uh, Mr. Alonso. I see that the work uh, that these people has been done there is very well finished, right, Mr. Blanc? It's, it's a well finished and it's well done so far. Yeah, no, I think they've done a good job. Um, you know, there's, a, like always, there's little things. We still haven't done a final walkthrough, so we will do that uh, and just make sure that any loose ends are, are taken care of. They're, they're a good contractor. We've worked with them a lot uh, in this uh, here and in other cities, so uh, we, don't, we have no, no issue that they're going to finish up the job complete 
Mr. Pena, let's just be sure I noticed, you know, let's be sure all the, the grass is, is replaced. And as far as our portion, let's get it back to how, how it was and not leave any, you know, those uh, you know, yes. sand and, and, and rocks and stuff on the, um, on the swale. That's all within the contract, so it will, it will all be, be taken complete. care of at the yes. end. Okay, good. Very good. Any other questions for the engineer? No Thank worries. you, Mr. Alonso. Thank you. Uh, Madam Clerk, uh, next item. Item 9, committee reports. Report of the mayor. I don't have a report. I asked quest my question to Frankie or my comment to Frankie. That was what, uh -huh. what I was going to say. So um, I have a report. Go ahead, uh, Commissioner. Um, well, <clears throat> you know, last year we had the COVID. So we last year we had the, the senior center closed and everything was a very problem. But they has been working with the Mikosuku tribe. And yesterday I have a meeting with one of the councilmen there, and they give me the green light. So Kari today uh, sent a letter, so we will have the turkeys for Thanksgiving for the for our homebound people and our senior senior citizens. So we're very lucky Excellent. that we get some turkeys for the holidays. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Anybody else for committee reports? No. Next item, Madam Clerk. Item 10, unfinished business. Under unfinished business, at the request of the mayor at the September 8, 2021 meeting, this is a list of the unfinished businesses and, and item A is the discussion possibility of increasing the height for fences and hedges in rear yards. This was uh, sponsored by Commissioner Blanes, was a discussion at the May 19, 2021 commission meeting. Okay. Do you want me to read all the all the items, Madam Mayor, or no? That actually, um, I'm sorry, what's that? What? I, I'm, no, I, was I, 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 I heard I, you, I know but this I, is I yeah. This is this is this is new. This is from the you know from your recommendation last time, and I agree with it. Um, should we just pull for update anything that we are interested in getting the update on? Uh, instead of going uh, item by item we or? can we can do that but i i i, I what w if we don't pull anything i want it to remain there what's here remains right. until it's completed so so yes uh, that that's an excellent idea does anyone want to pull any of these for discussion at this time um otherwise they remain on they remain on the agenda until completion vice mayor did you have one Ye you want yeah so uh item e um i just wanted to clarify what uh I think what we were looking for um, when it comes to the planning and zoning board, um, I watched the end of the last meeting of the planning and zoning to see what the recommendation would look like, and it didn't seem as structured as I, I hoped uh, the recommendation process would be. Um, so what I'm thinking, uh, Mr. Penn, I know that you, you're involved in that board a little bit. Um, if we can, I know it's a lot to go through. Um, so if, when you're presenting it, if you can break off maybe the first, the, the, the live work units, mechanical parking and parking bonuses first, maybe break it up um, a little bit so it's not so overwhelming. Um, and just take those three first, and then the next, uh, what is it, two, uh, next, and, uh, and kind of break it up um, so they can have a little more uh, ability to talk about it and provide recommendations. Uh, I don't know what your thoughts on that were, but uh, good, good evening. Uh, the when I presented it to them, uh, we didn't have a full board, so they they elected to take the material home and study it to discuss it in this uh, next coming meeting. And that was my idea, to break it out to the simpler stuff first and then tackle the more complicated stuff after. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay, so then, Mr. Penn, at the next meeting, you will give us an, an update as to where planning and zoning is on item E. Correct. Perfect. As How about for, item A? Okay, as so far as the fence ordinance, it, they were in agreement with the height and the rear of the houses at eight feet, and some of them recommended five feet in the front. Uh, to allow people a little bit more privacy. And uh, as you know, we already had discussed the different types of materials that have come online 
since the last passing of the ordinance and they agreed to those materials. So now all we have to do is put an amendment together and present it to to them first and then to you. Okay, how long is that gonna take? Baby? How long would it take us to put the amendments to the fence ordinance together? Um, I have to uh, sit down with you and discuss that. I uh, have no idea at this point. Okay. Okay, and uh, Madam Clerk, item E remains on the agenda for next next meeting. Yes, Madam. Uh, yeah. Item A remains on the agenda for next meeting, so mm -hmm. we'll get an, a status update on that. Um, I guess let's just take one at a time. Uh, item B, do we have a date for the tree dedication ceremony? No, we have to wait until the economic comes on vacation. Okay. Item item B. Next meeting. Perfect. Item B stays. It will be on the next agenda. Item C. Yeah, that was addressed already. He'll pick up the plaque. Uh, Angel Tibero, his retirement recognition. So he'll he'll be at the next meeting. He's just going to pick it up. He he's just going to pick it up at the office. Okay. So that that item C is completed. Completed. Then. Yes. I don't. We will not carry that over to the next agenda. Uh, item D, what's going on? We'll look advertising. Uh, Madam Mayor, I, I personally have not had a chance to circle back with Mr. Pena and Carlos uh, La, La, La Valle, Valle. La Valle. The, pr the president of Look Advertising. Um, actually, I called him. He came by the city, but when he came by the city, uh, I was not available, so I have not been able to speak to him. I know that he requested a printout of what he had paid the city. I don't know, Juan, if you've met with him since. Yeah, we discussed it. He he brought up to to date whatever was owed to the city. Mm -hmm. And he says to uh, forego his request at this point, he'll just wait till the contract either expires or renews. So he will continue to honor the $500, the $500 a month. Correct. Wait, 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 wait. This doesn't seem, this is not what we dis discussed at the last meeting. Am I, what am I missing here? Yes, you discussed, uh, he requested that he reduce the, the revenue to the city uh, from $500 to $250. If my memory serves me correct, we did not agree to that. I know that. That's correct. And that's oh. why it was deferred. Yeah, but the, 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 mayor, is, the mayor is correct. One of, the, one of the issues that that conversation became derailed was because the contract that uh, when we asked for the contract terms, the contract was expired. No. We couldn't come to... You, I have a pretty good memory. Uh, that, <laughs> Correct. Was, that, that, that was what was stated. You were supposed to come back to us with, with specific <laughs> information as to whether or not that contract was expired or not. It is not. Before. It is not expired. It is not. Like I said, Madam Mayor, I have not been able to sit down with Pena to give an update. I would like the opportunity to follow up with this. I've been involved with other matters and budget and everything, so I would ask that you allow us a, a chance to look at it together okay. and come to you with a final report well, on this. That's what I wanted to hear. Yeah. I, I do know that he was at the office, and I do know that um, he requested a printout of whatever was due, and he wanted to do a revision on what he had paid the city. So I so need you to come back to us with, with, a with final the data report. so we yes. can make a ver an informed vote because at last meeting we could there's no way we can vote on what we were presented we do not have enough information and to 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 add to the mayor's point if uh if this is coming back on the agenda can you include in the packet madam clerk the contract it's because it's we, we talked about it so much last time that i i just want to see it at this point <laughs> okay so next yes. next men, next um next agenda this remains on the agenda and, and the with contract. a copy of the contract right yes. correct but again his request is to withdraw the request. To withdraw the request. So I guess he was withdraw making a request. Withdraw what request? What, what? The request to reduce the amount of money that he pays to the city from 500 to 250. That's how this came about and it was brought to the commission. That was the request that the gentleman made. So I, he yeah. has, he, he's requesting now to... What was left in doubt was whether he was under contract or not under contract. Right. He is under contract. You want to see the contract? No problem. You could verify it at the next meeting. But We'll give you the contract. Until that contract mm -hmm. expires, he's withdrawing his request. Okay. Uh, Vice Mayor. 
yeah, no, I, I, if you can keep it on there, or, I mean, you can keep it on there. I, I, I just want to see the contract. Okay, it doesn't so have to yes, be on the packet or not. I just so we leave it on the, we leave it on the agenda right. um, for the simple reason of, of, of presenting the contract to us. Okay. All right, um, Madam Clerk, that's it. All right, so let's move on to F. F is the selection of date for freebie inauguration or expansion of program for the new vehicle. Uh, Madam Mayor, I, I, um, I think you may have seen in the members of the City Commission, I sent a copy to an email to Jason asking him to come by and sign the contract, the permanent contract. I know he was out of town. Um, I did put a, a phone call uh, to Jason, but I haven't heard back from him. So if this can wait, I have a feeling that the vehicle is not ready to put in on the road. And, and so we need to depend on the vehicle to be able to have a, a, an inauguration of the expansion of the route and the introduction of the vehicle. So again, if, if this can stay on the agenda, we should have a response on, on the 6th of October. Perfect. Madam Clerk, this, this, remains, on, this remains unfinished business for next agenda. Did you know it? <clears throat> okay. Um, annual, annual evaluation, City Manager, City Clerk. Have, you, have either of you received any evaluations? Yes, yes. ma'am. Okay. I have, have, have received, received one. Everyone's? One. Yes. One by Commissioner. This is Clark. mine. You want it? I, was I, no, I, I don't want it. You, so that, what? that goes to the clerk and the manager. Well, I, what, Yolanda, I give it to you. Thank I have you, outsta outstanding for the no, manager. No, we, we're not going to well, evaluate now, sir. You give your eva you evaluate the manager and the clerk one on one. Okay, evaluation, okay. city manager. Yes. You, you, All right, you, I have here the city manager evaluation. So then you meet with them. I give it to you. And her. you evaluate, right. you, you discuss their evaluation right. with them one on one. Thank you. Wonderful. Okay, so. Um, this will remain on on the agenda until you have everyone's and um, a point of privilege on this I had a discussion with the clerk I've asked her to to um, to give us to canvas some of, uh, of the other city clerks I'd like to know if the evaluation of the manager and the clerk is done um, in public at meetings um, I'm not sure if this is part of the charter that we evaluate you during a commission meeting or if this is something that it's just because it's always been that way. It's been that way. Actually, that was established by the commission as a way to air in public the, I guess, strengths, the weaknesses of the manager and but the clerk. But established by resolution, established by mm. just because? because? Just because? Yes, because. All right, so I, I'd like to look at that. I, okay. I don't know if... if, if a public evaluation is the proper is a proper forum and when you evaluate your employees do you, you know it's done um, in it's the done office one -on -one. Mm -hmm. you're not elected one -on -one. officials right so I was kind of wondering how it got here so now you've told me it was just because it was at the whim of it was established the whim of a commission of, of, years of many commission. years okay ago. so yes so I'd like to know um, madam clerk if you can just give me some information as to how other cities, I don't need you to canvas all of them, I just want to get an idea. Um, cities are, are similar size, how they do it. Yes. So that's then, the and then I'll put it on the agenda to discuss if we want to continue doing this in public or not. Yes, because for your information, there are cities that, are, that clerk is under the city manager and some others under the commission. So I'll, I'll build canvas those that are under the commission's purview. And then once we have that, I, I will make it an agenda item. Yes. Um, uh, commissioner, did you have something? Yes. Yes, yes I do ahead. and and uh, thank you for bringing this up I personally feel very uncomfortable every year uh, having to sit here and having to talk about the city managers performance and the city clerks performance and the city attorney's performance I sometimes you know what I mean I, I know that they do a good job because you know the city runs well but you know I I personally you know don't have any markers or anything you know to to go on to say yeah you know from a on a one to ten it's a ten or a five or a one or a zero you know I, I don't have that capability I so I sit here and I pretty much talk like I'm talking now and and you know uh, you know uh, I, I don't know it just it, sometimes it doesn't make any sense to me I have so sensed thank that you time and time and time again that so thank you for bringing that why up. I'm, I'm bringing this to the table now because I, I 
I've picked up on that. So I, I, it's time. At first, I wanted to know how we got here. Now, now that, you know, I got my answer to that. So now, you know, we'll 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 change it if we if we so you know so vote to we'll we'll change it going forward. But let's let's the clerk get some of that information for me, and then we'll put it on the table and and we'll vote and we'll go forward from there. Perfect. Any other questions on this or comments or suggestions? Okay, and Madam Clerk, that stays on the agenda until we until we complete it. Yes, Madam Mayor. Okay, next item. Item 11, this is uh, the new business agenda items. Item 11A, this is a public <coughs> hearing for property address 6050 Southwest 11th Street, West Miami, Florida 33144, special use permit 2021-003. Applicant Frank Valero, 6050 Southwest 11th Street, West Miami, Florida 33144. Applicant requests a special use permit for the renovation <coughs> of the property located at 6050 Southwest 11th Street, West Miami, Florida, providing for a two-story addition and reconstruction of existing house for a proposed new residence containing 2,620 square feet property. Property is a single family home with two bedrooms and one bath. The new addition will provide for three bedrooms and three bathrooms. Property, uh, property zone residential single family specialist permit for index number 2021-003, zoning ordinance 282, section 2B1, section 4.17, zoning ordinance 282, ordinance 9901. Mr. Pena. Good evening, Mayor, Commissioners, <coughs> Vice Mayor. At the last Planning and Zoning Board, uh, the property at 6050 Southwest 11th Street presented a special use permit for a second story to the property. Uh, basically, uh, Mr. Valero is retiring and he's coming down from Boston and he has decided to, before he comes down, to completely redo the house and uh, expand it and make it more comfortable for him. He meets all setback requirements. Uh, rear setback, he's at 39 feet, where only 15 is required. Uh, he will replace all doors, windows, second floor. Uh, he has uh, a second floor uh, outside patio that is all louvered, so there is no uh, no views to the uh, south or to the or to the east or west of the property, or to the front of the property. Uh, so. Uh, the zoning board heard it, and uh, his architect presented it, and they motioned to recommend to approve. With Mr. Benno, the, what were the conditions? Uh, it says there, it's the louver, the louvers to prevent views to any other property on the side, or to the rear. I'm sorry, the louvers on the on the sun second deck? floor. Second floor, but just on the sun deck. That's correct. And if I may ask, do you recall why? Um, Mr. Paz was against this. I, mean, I see. I see that Joe Paz was. No. That's a typo on my part. No. no. Oh, okay. It so was four zero. I'm sorry. I see. I see against. Okay. 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 Any questions for Mr. Penna before I open the public hearing? So just to be clear, it, it, it passed unanimous. Yes. Okay. You're not allowed any more typos, especially like this. You threw me off completely. I'm going. No, I haven't. Like, am, I, am I reading something? What, what am I seeing here? Okay. Uh, any other questions for Mr. Penna before I open the public hearing? Okay. Let's open the public hearing. Anyone here from the public to speak on this? Yes. Your name and address for the record, please. Yes. Good evening, Madam Mayor, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Adriana Guerra. I'm the architect. And um, for the property at uh, 6050 Southwest 11th Street. Mr. Frank Valero. And um, basically, um, what um, Mr. Pena had explained, we went ahead and, uh, for the last meeting and we ended up uh, adding the louvers at the, at the balcony area on the top. And um, there's, we went ahead and we met all the conditions and everything that setbacks and zoning had uh, required from us. So if there's anything, any questions for me. Let just me just be sure I understand. The, 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 the reason for the special use permit is exactly what? What exactly? Just, just, just to be floor? clear, this is a, a pub, the public hearing to yes, hear sir. from the public and, yes, sir. and not the architect. Well, I was going to, but she was well, already, that's fine. I, so you're going to hear from her anyway. There was no one exactly. I know, but okay. that will come later, right? Right, right. Yes. Uh, ordinance 9901 is a second story ordinance. It's never been codified into 282. 
but it requires a special use permit to allow a second story in any property in the city. So going forward, Mr. Pena, should we look into codifying that? It, so would, it would actually require an amendment to the ordinance to uh, allow it under administrative rule. Right, let, let's, let's continue talking about that at a later time because, okay. please. Um, and yes, Councilor Flores, you're correct, but I realized when she was your architect, I don't believe I have anyone else here signed yeah. up to speak, so that's why I let her, I let her speak. Um, okay, anybody else on the public wish to speak on this? Don't leave because you're next. Okay. <laughs> I'll close the public hearing. Um, Madam Architect, anything else you wish to, to? I don't have any other, I don't have any other uh, uh, questions or anything um, for anyone here, but if. Do we have any questions, questions. for the architect on this project? No, this is perfect. <laughs> Recommendation. <laughs> any question, any questions for staff? Vice Mayor, no? Okay. Okay, thank you. No, no one else from the public, no questions. All right. Um, Madam Clerk, we are at reading 11. the resolution. Yes. Item 11B, resolution of the Mayor and City Commission of the City of West Miami, approving slash denying mm -hmm. special use permit 2021-003 at 6050 Southwest 11th Street, West Miami, Florida, 3144. The property is currently zoned for R1 single family. The applicant is requesting to redevelop the parcel to allow a two-story house and in lieu of the rough requiring certain terms and conditions pursuant to zoning ordinance 282, section uh, 2A41. Motion to approve. Second. Call the vote. Is Commissioner Blanes at your vote? Yes. Commissioner Suarez? Yes. Commissioner Blanca? Yes. Vice Mayor Diaz Padron? Yes. Mayor Rodriguez? Yes. Five zero. Item passes. Thank you. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Beautiful home. Okay. Uh, next item. Yes. Oh. Next item, Madam Mayor. Uh, we would like to defer it to until October six meeting since we received a. Uh, uh, an update from uh, Tomas Alcala from the mayor's office that she uh, won't be, I mean, won't be able to attend tonight and, and deferred until October 6th. Yes, they, she is deep in her budget process, so um, yes. hopefully she will make the next meeting. Yes. Very good. Okay, next item, please. Item 11D, report and recommendation by the Office of the City Manager in reference to contract renewal between the City of West Miami and EcoStrata Services for grant writing and project assistance by City Manager. Thank you, Madam Mayor and members of the City Commission. Um, as you know, we have developed over the years a great, excellent working relationship with EcoStrata, represented by uh, President and owner Robert Ruano, who's here this evening. Um, Robert has been extremely mindful of the needs of the city. He knows the city very well. He works very well with all of our department directors and my office. He's extremely professional. He has contacts outside of West Miami, which uh, I think work to our benefit. Um, he's present. He was even present on the White House call today. We keep him in the loop just about everything that he could possibly go after and chase the money on our behalf. So uh, without further delay, I, I have to tell you that I highly recommend that we um, renew his contract and, um, and, and he's offering to do the, the work. And I believe there's an, uh, a difference in the resolution than that of the agreement. Robert, if you want to talk to the commission about the, the grants and the compliance issues. Sure. Uh, Madam Mayor, if you would allow uh, Robert an opportunity to go on record. Um, but like I said, we've developed an, an excellent working relationship. Thank you. Thank right. you, Madam Manager. Uh, good evening, Mayor, Vice Mayor, Commissioners. Um, thank you for the opportunity to be here. It is a pleasure once again to be here and, and continue to work with the City of West Miami and the manager and all the staff. Um, yeah, the, the difference, the discrepancy is um, the contract says five grants, um, five, f five new grants and compliance on three. Um, the, your resolution was a typo. It's, it stated eight, grant, eight grants total, and the specific is five, five for new grants and compliance on three. Because we've I been. I thought you were going to do less for more. 
Yeah. <laughs> I saw, I saw, I, and, I, and he does. No. He does. Uh, no, 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 no. And, and, and trust me, we, uh, we don't count. It's just a matter of when Yolanda calls, I answer, and we do what we need to do. <laughs> Thank you, Robert. Um, by, the, how, by how much are we, are we um, increasing the... Is there an increase in the... $2,000, and that's been um, already entertaining your proposed budget as well. It's, it, yeah, it's a $150 increase a month, basically. Okay. Right. Which hasn't been increased in like yeah. three or four years. But. Okay, any questions for, for Mr. Rana or for the manager? I congratulate Mr. Rana for his work and make a motion. No, no, they have to read the resolution. He's a wonderful May. person, May. very professional. Well, I, I'd like to congratulate Robert too for all the help he's given us. I know he's done a great job, so. Thank you, Commissioner. We, we welcome you back. I'm Thank not going to congratulate you. I'm going to tell you to bring us some more money. I will. <laughs> Enough congratulations. I will, Mayor. Bring us bring some more money. Bacon. Bring home the bacon. I will, Mayor. Show me the money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Madam Clerk, read the resolution, please. Yes, item 11 E, a resolution of the Mayor and City Commission of the City of West Miami authorizing the City Manager to execute an extension of an agreement with Ecostrider Services Incorporated, originally authorized by Resolution 2016-59, as more detailed in Exhibit A, to provide grant writing services and preparation of quarterly biennial reports, close out reports for any and all grants received by the city, applied by Ecostrada Services Incorporated. As described in the proposal, providing for a two-year contract, commencing October 1st, 2021, providing for compensation of $2,000 per month, providing a minimum of five Grant applications. Grant applica the correct. Uh, the correct amendment is uh, here. Grant proposals, applications, funding shall be borne from account five one three one one five, providing for an effective date of October first, twenty twenty one. Providing for effective date, I, we said it already. So, we have a motion by Commissioner Suarez. Second. Second. Commissioner Blanes. Commissioner Blanca, how do you vote? Commissioner Blanes? Yes. Commissioner Suarez? Yes. Vice Mayor Diaz Padron? Yes. Mayor Rodriguez? Yes. <laughs> Five zero item passes. Thank you very much. Welcome Thank you, back, Robert. Good evening. Thank you. Don't Thank be you, a Robert. Thank you. <laughs> it's good to see you all again, by the way. Same here. Same Thank here. you, Mr. Rano. <coughs> Next item when you're ready, Madam Clerk. Item eleven F. This is a request for resolution opposing proposed amendments to the Miami-Dade County Code, code regarding public works construction and permitting in the incorporated and unincorporated areas and urging the Board of County Commissioners of Miami-Dade County not to move forward with the amendments as drafted. Uh, this item is sponsored by Mayor Rodriguez. Okay, this, this um, came to my attention by way of um, Miami-Dade County League of Cities, um, the county or, or actually uh, uh, Chairman Jose Pepe Diaz wanted to make some amendments to an ordinance and um, <coughs> almost every municipality in Dade County is opposing the amendment. So for the, for the specifics, I'm gonna let Mr. Pena um, give, me more, give you more details on exactly what, uh, the, what this ordinance is trying to do as far as we're concerned. Mr. Pena? Just to be clear, this is a Miami-Dade County Miami -Dade ordinance County that affects ordinance that the municipalities. That, that they're trying to, to amend, and Mr. Penner will explain to you how that will affect us if they get if this, this amendment passes. And it will affect all municipalities. It will affect all, and, and most everyone, from understand up to now, 100% of the municipalities right. are opposing um, the, the amendments that, the, that, that um, they're trying to pass. Mr. Penner? At this uh, juncture, we, uh, on our local roadways, we uh, permit the work that takes place from uh, contractors that come to either install mm -hmm. underground cables, uh, water lines, uh, FPL lines, uh, Bell South communication lines. We permit that in our local roads. Miami-Dade County permits on uh, county roads, which is 62nd Avenue, part of 16th Street, and 67th Avenue. Uh, if this ordinance goes into effect, Miami-Dade County will eliminate all cities from regulating their local roads, and they will be the ones issuing permits for whatever any other communication companies or any of the uh, utility, companies. utility companies want to put out there. As long as they approve it, it'll be put in. It completely eliminates us from having say. 
the, the latest example I could uh, think of is when uh, we were proposed some 5G towers throughout the city. Uh, nobody ever said that they were going to be two foot round in front of most homes in the city in order to be able to produce that 5G. Imagine trying to put a two foot round pole in front of somebody's property here. Uh, had that been the case back then, they might have gone through the county and the county okayed it and it would have been installed. In fact, I think some of it was installed down in Biscayne Boulevard, if I recall, around the Miami arena that I've seen those poles. So it's actually just, again, local jurisdiction over our roads that if we give it up, uh, there's no regulating on our part. So, so basically power and control exactly. and money. That's correct. In the, for, in the, in the, in the form of, of, of the fees and permitting fees that they will get. Correct. No, it's basically also you know, shame it, on them, man. I can't, it, it, who's this, Pepe Diaz? Well, Pepe well, well, well. Huh? The, the, chair, the chairman is. What sponsored by? It's been deferred. It's been deferred. Um, so I, th this I, think, I think we should all give him a call. Well, no, actually, tomorrow, Friday, Friday. Um, Shame on them, man. Shame on him. Actually, uh, uh, Commissioner President um, Corradino, the Miami Dade County League of Cities president, is having a meeting with the chairman um, so that the chairman understands, you know, understands where all the municipalities are coming from. And it's basically, um, you know, we're opposing their, their infringement on home rule, basically, is what's happening here. You know, I, I just, you know, I know Pepe Diaz and, and you know, I, I just don't understand, you know, his, his you know, his pr uh, thought process. But, you know, it, it goes to show that when you have someone, you know, in power for so long, you know what, they get detached. And they just want to, uh, they just want to make more power and more power and more control. They don't realize that there's others, you know what, that don't see and view things his way or her way. So, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of yes, very sir. disturbed about that. So basically what this resolution is, is, is saying that, you know, we want to maintain control. We, we don't want to give away control. Yeah, that, I agree with you. Could that, I make a friendly the amendment on the title? Sure. Uh, to just add as drafted, like, you, like it is on the agenda, to the end of the, of the resolution title, just because I know that there is some competing amendments going on that some commissioners from other cities were speaking in favor of during that meeting. And I don't know what those are, um, but it's just good policy to put as drafted like you put it on here on the agenda amendments as drafted as Ms. Mr. Drafted. Attorney just Is put at the end of the title yes I will do that okay. I mean, let, let me get this straight vice mayor you just said that there's been some commissioners from other cities that have actually uh, spoken favorably about this no they, they oh. were they were talking in favor of uh, amendments to the current draft um, from Miami-Dade County right so th there's there's other commissioners in Miami-Dade County who were it was it was a lively discussion I, I didn't catch all of it but I know um, some commissioners went to the meeting from other cities um, and some were were speaking in favor of other amendments to this package whatever you but, know, I, but agreeing to to to, to um, the actual amendment to I mean to the actual uh, uh, ordinance agreeing to some portion of it I don't know what it is but it's just I because I don't know what it is I feel more comfortable if we put it as drafted as it is now as we all know it is um, just put that last word, which is which was on the agenda correctly, and I know court, the court will give those resolutions did the same thing. It's as drafted. Yeah. Yes, so the, the included in your package is, is some some very, of the, just um, very small. the resolutions of, of of other cities that are also opposing no. this. Just at the end of the title, as drafted. There is, I mean, okay. if it's so, okay with everyone, I, if it is, oh, you know. I I need a motion as amended. Okay. Um, by Vice Mayor. May I read the resolution? Uh, oh, I'm motion? sorry, I'm sorry, yes, please. Yes, item 11G, resolution of the Mayor and City Commission of the City of West Miami opposing oh, the code, uh, county code amendments infringing rights of the city regard uh, of the city regarding public works construction and permitting within easements and rights of way within the city providing for instructions to city clerk providing for effective date with a friendly amendment by uh, uh, Vice Mayor Diaz Patron to note as drafted on the resolution. Thank you. So I need we a have motion. a motion by Vice Mayor Diaz Patron. No, I didn't make the motion. Someone else. You, you motion. did not make. No, no, no. no. He made the motion. A, he had a friendly amendment. Okay. Mo motion. Just motion by Commissioner Blanes. Uh, second by Commissioner Blanca. Call the vote. Commissioner Suarez, how do you vote? Yes. Commissioner Blanca. Yes. Commissioner Blanes. Yes. Vice Mayor Diaz Padron. Yes. Mayor Rodriguez. Yes. Five zero. Item passes. Thank you all. 
Next item. Item H, res uh, discussion in reference to Halloween and lighting of the tree 2021 event by Mayor Rodriguez. Well, folks, it's here. Um, we have to talk about it. Uh, we know we've got this Delta variant out now that's affecting more children than ever before. I am leaning towards canceling all the events throughout the end of the year um, to err on the side of, of being extremely careful. Um, I know last year we, we had the drive-by Halloween event, but that even concerns me now, um, you know, with, with this variant out there and, and you know, it's going to be the children that we're looking after. So based on that, I'm inclined to say, let's just cancel all the events throughout the end of the year and hope for a, a better beginning of the new year. And maybe we can start fresh. So any comments or sad, sad state sad, of affairs. And I don't think this affairs. is ever going away unless we make it go away. Sad state those of are, affairs. Those are my personal feelings. Anybody else? I mean, that's that's my opinion, but I you know I want to hear from from the rest of the table. Um, yeah, I mean the Halloween event. Obviously, the only way to do it would be a drive-by, which um, you know. But, but the ice. Even that. Well, let's let no, 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 the vice mayor finish. I don't. I don't really have a, too much of a thought. Okay, so. go ahead. I see here two items: Halloween party. Halloween festivities, Halloween holidays, and the lighting of the tree. Correct. Lighting of the tree is in December, right, Yolanda? Correct. Yes, sir. December. Yes, sir. Halloween is in October. Four weeks. October. In four weeks. Mm -hmm. So you propose is cancel both the events? Yes, sir, I do. <coughs> yeah, I, I understand that you don't, don't want to get the, the children get together in the in the, in the park. Yeah, especially now with, with this variant that is unfortunately affecting more children than before. Now, I have a question. Can mm -hmm. we can we celebrate the lighting of the tree without any festivity of the residents? How would you propose we do that? I ask. I mean, I think... Why? We're still going to have the tree. Yeah. This tree's, I mean, the lighting tree's, the tree without the... Well, no, the tree's going to... Make gonna, a signal, you know, the tree's lighting. The tree's still going to be out there, and we're still going to light it, but it's, there's not going to be an event surrounding it. When it's done, we light it. So, yeah, the tree the tree will still be put up. But the, because we are looking for keep the people away from the groups, from together, so they can, the problem with the COVID. But I think if we light the tree, make a simple ceremony or no ceremony at all, just lighting the tree as a symbol of the city. There will be a, a lighting tree in the center of the city. No, absolutely. Will that's be exactly, a nice thing. That's exactly what we're and going to do. We're gonna we're gonna set we're gonna set up the tree and we're gonna light it, uh, which is not gonna have an event exactly. to do that. We we are going to set up the tree and we are gonna light it, but not no event. It'll just be lit. Where's the tree gonna be this year? At the rec. Cooper Park. Park. Oh, Cooper Park. Cooper. That's right, Cooper Park. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm Good. There's no event. Cooper, no event. Might as well put it at Cooper. <laughs> Make it, it more up, visible. We set it up and we light it. Correct. Now we're using Cooper Park to I know I install the tree because the fact that it's just lit and it's open to the public, yeah. they, anybody that wants to come take pictures, exactly. they can and stuff like that. Yeah, so that, that's status quo. We, we still do that, but, but no event. Um, Correct. No event. And hopefully, you know, come January, come Easter, we can... We can start our events again. Fingers crossed. We would crossed. actually put a press release on the on the web page once we're going to light it. The day we're. Well, no, light. I don't. No, I don't want people gathering, Pena. Oh okay. no, we'll light it. Oh, okay. It's just would so you that say everybody that the, knows it's lit. The tree will be will be uh, will be up and and right. will be lit exactly. So what I try is to keep this um, Christmas spirit with yes. the tree lighted. Oh no, we yeah, yep, No events. It's okay because the COVID problem yes. that we have. That's exactly exactly right. where 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 I was going with that. I agree in that way. Okay, so officially all events, <clears throat> Halloween is, can't, we will not be having a Halloween event nor lighting of the tree um, this year. And no, Christmas is not canceled. <laughs> We're not going to be that much of a Scrooge. Um, tree will be, will, be, will be set up and lit at your, at your, at your, at, at your um, preference. Um, okay. And again, fingers crossed and hope for, hope for having a 
Our first event be Easter of the, of the new year. All right, next item, Madam Clerk. Item 11I, this is a resolution of the Mayor and the City Commission of the City of West Miami setting forth the 2021-2022 legislative, legislative priorities for the City of West Miami instructing the city's legislative consultant Converge to seek funding through legislative appropriations and agencies of the state of Florida for grant opportunities in general and particularly seeking funds funding in the amount of $2 million to complete the replacement of outdated potable water system of the city, replacement of potable water system leveraged, leveraged by the American Rescue Plan Act, requesting an additional $100,000 for the expansion of the West Miami Community Center Home Delivered Meal Program to include a second meal for disadvantaged seniors who reside within the service boundary, pursuant for that funding for parks and recreation and possible park expansion, requesting funding for trees under the forestry grant program, providing for effective date. This item was added to the agenda as an amendment on, on, on September 13. Madam Mayor, if I may, yes. we need to remove the part where we offer the leverage money from the American um, Rescue Plan Act because we learned today that we cannot leverage those dollars against any, uh, towards any grant applications. So <clears throat> our, our ask to the Florida legislature this year would be a standalone funding application to complete the potable water, but with no match or very little match from the city at, at that point. Madam Clerk, you will make that change, please? Yes, Madam Mayor. Are there any questions for the manager on this? No. Uh, just one. When it, on the on the F, I will get this acronym wrong. Or this, FERDAP. On the FERDAP, on the FERDAP uh, grant, um, I know I had a conversation with Senator Garcia about this. What was what is the uh, you know what are we going after in terms of the park expansion? Uh, is that something that we have to outline for them, or is it? Yes. Okay. We so have where, a, where, where are we at in that process? We have a specific um, um, ask based on our comp plan. We've got to go back to our comp plan and see if we've met all of the capital improvements, recreational projects, um, and, and sort of uh, scratch off those that we have completed, and then go after those that have been identified but not funded yet. Those okay. would be next in line with our FERDAP. Um, the reason for that is usually when you have a FERDAP application and you have, you're following your comp plan, they usually give you a higher score. So, right. so, so I, know, I know we've had conversations privately about, um, you know, things you'd like to see us go after. Is that going to come to us at a different commission meeting to finally to, to approve what we're finally going to go after, or is it something that's being well? Done that that all depends on what the the state announces. There's usually a, a, a notice of funding um, opportunity that that is published by the state of Florida, and it'll talk to you about the projects that you can go after. Those that are large projects or smaller projects, um, they're 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 determined by them. They're evaluated by the city. And usually we request a resolution from the mayor and city commission to go after these projects. Okay, we're not there yet though. We're not. Okay, thank you. I, uh, there may be, and I, I think we, mayor, um, you were um, at the meeting when we met yes. with Converge, with yes. Mario and Caesar from, from Converge. There may be opportunities to go on for um, land acquisition dollars under the FERDAP program. Yes, we specifically asked them that. Exactly. And Mario was going to do some, some research Correct. for us and find out whether this was coming, uh, the land acquisition dollars was going to be funded by FERDAP or by another agency. And so, we specifically asked that mm -hmm. in reference to the uh, possible park right. expansion. So yes, he's mm -hmm. going to get they're going to get back to us for their information. Madam Mayor, yes. Since we're not subject, uh, the recreational board committee. Uh, I believe that we do have to meet at certain times and discuss all these uh, yes. uh, possible projects. So uh, I think we, you know we have not met in a while. 
So if the city clerk can contact the members uh, to see, you know, if they're still there and they're still willing to. Do we have a full board on that, Mr. Penn? Yeah, we do. We yeah. do. Yeah, okay. one of the members actually had mentioned to me that asking me when you're going to meet and yes. that's on my board, so we <laughs> I don't do. know. We didn't have one last year. Okay, right. but, but we do have a full board, so Great. we can meet, okay. And, well, and again, okay. meeting with the uh, Recreation Advisory Board, and, and thank you, Commissioner Blanes, for bringing that up. Also, uh, it's very helpful when applying for these grants, you score, they score you, they look at you with a better set of eyes, if you would, but, you know, if you have all of your ducks in a row, your meetings with your boards, your comprehensive plan, capital improvement list, if, if all of this is in place, we have a better opportunity of being funded. So, so if, uh, the city clerk can, can touch base with these members and, and let them know that we're going to be, you know, hopefully meeting soon. That way they have an idea. Uh, I was asked uh, by uh, uh, one of them the other day, you know, what was going on with that. And, you know, I said that, uh, you know, we've been, you know, pretty idle. Uh -huh. But hopefully we will be start. Uh, to meet again. I have a question on the board. That that board, how long are those terms for? Um, I just want to be sure we don't have any expired <laughs> members. I'm, how, how long? Because I haven't heard about members being appointed to that board in a very long time. They're not, they don't have no, they don't. No. So, how is that handled? They just stay on forever or? Until they move out or are they no longer wish to serve? Okay. All right. So we need to touch base with them to, to you know, uh, reassure ourselves that they're still willing to serve. So, Madam okay. Clerk. Yes, I will contact them. We still need a motion. Can you, get, we need to can you send me an email? To, I'd like to know who the members are. Can okay. you put, actually okay. put it to all of us? Send, send all of us an email so, because I really don't remember who the members are or that are on there. Yeah, I'll send you the list. Perfect. Thank you. Um, Madam Mayor, I need to be excused for a minute. Yes, sir. Go right ahead. Okay, uh, anything else on item I? Yes, um, oh, Madam Mayor, we, we, we need, need a motion. A mo a second. I'm saying yeah. we, need, we need a motion. <laughs> Any other questions on I, I meant? Uh -oh. If there are no other questions, I need a motion. Yeah, I'll make a motion, motion. As, as amended for the manager's comments on the uh, leveraging the money. Okay, I have a motion as second. amended, and I have a second. Call the vote, please. Yes, Commissioner Blanes. Yes. Commissioner Blanca. Yes. Commissioner Suarez. Yes. Vice Mayor Diaz Patron. Yes. Mayor Rodriguez. Yes. Five zero. Item passes. Next item. Item two, consent agenda items. Does anyone want to pull a consent agenda item for discussion? A motion, if not. Motion's not. Uh, I need a motion on a, uh, consent agenda items. No, I mean, a motion if there's no, no pull. Oh, you already did. Okay, yeah. so second. I have a motion. Second. I need a, I need a second. second. I have a motion. I have a second uh, by Commissioner Suarez. Call the vote. Yes. No, uh, Madam Clerk, call the vote, please. I have a, a motion by... Uh, Vice Mayor, Mayor and, and a I second. have a, a second, second by, by Commissioner, second by Blanes. Commissioner Blanes. No, that was yes. you. You second. Call the vote, okay. please. Second by Commissioner Suarez. Yes. Okay. Commissioner uh, Blanca, how do you vote? Commissioner Blanes. Second. Commissioner Suarez. I mean, <laughs> no. Oh, no. I mean, yes. My goodness <laughs> gracious. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Vice Mayor Diaz Padron. Yes. Yes. Commissioner Blanes, can you yes. just listen to me from now on? Look, look, look to me for direction. <laughs> Mayor Rodriguez. Yes, yes. Madam Mayor. Yes. Five so zero. that you're not led astray. <laughs> All right. Now I think. Is anyone for the good of the order? <laughs> All right. Um, I need a I need a motion to adjourn. All in favor. I have a motion by Vice Mayor. All in favor? Aye. 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 Meeting is adjourned. Thank you all. Yeah. <laughs>